السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد brothers and sisters can i give you the definition of oppression oppression is me trying to give you a talk at this time that's oppression you're hungry you're tired you've been well taught and so what i i decided to do is just give you a few words honestly i want you to to, to be clear what you're doing here why i praise al kalm institute for what's happening here today and if you cannot see the vision then trust the visionary we have people here in this organization imam amin and the others who see something i am with it 100% and i would like to tell you why do you know the motto of the congressional black caucus The motto of the Congressional Black Caucus is black people have neither permanent friends nor permanent enemies just permanent interest. Mm. Of course this is ummatan wahida. Inna hadhi ummatan ummatan wahida wa ana rabbukum fa'budun. This Umma of yours Allah says is one umma and I am your lord so worship me we are arguing that we know that this is one umma but we have interests that we have to deal with because Allah told us he made us into uh uh nations and tribes and order for us to know one another we know that there are white muslims and brown muslims we know that there are immigrant muslims and indigenous muslims latino muslims we know all of that that's not the question today the question is our vital interest 15 crack houses on the block of our masjid abandoned buildings everywhere nobody wanted that area but we got it Allah bless us to get it my biggest mistake was not to take the before and after pictures because had you seen it then and see it now you would say oh my god what happened Allah happened He takes you from the darkness and brings you into the light. And that's what happened in that area. When we first bought the property, I'm saying there was not one Muslim business. Now there's over 40. Why? Because we began with Allah. Intense Allah. You sukun. If you help Allah, help Allah help you. Put Allah first. Put the masjid first. You want to build a community? Put a law first. And I guarantee you if you put a law first and now you got to go to work because it's not going to happen automatically because you think you're pious. No, it begins with putting a law first and now you got to work. Ta'ala al-badru 'alayna. <laughs>